I'm Misha Tate, UFC Bantamweight fighter, and I will be fighting UFC 196 March 5th. I feel like I'm a very passionate person, and when I do something, I do it with my whole heart. I feel like I've given a large amount of my heart and soul to this sport. I came out of that fight with Jessica I unscathed, and I began training immediately for that title shot. It was pretty gut-wrenching when I had that opportunity taken away. My name is Jimmy Gifford. I'm the head striking coach for Misha Tay. The window of opportunity is very small in this sport. I'm in this sport to be the champion and to be number one. And She was kind of distraught. You know, I thought I had my chance in place. and That had me at the lowest of lows. Even contemplated retirement. I questioned walking away from this sport. I told her to be patient and we'll see how things fall. And Sure enough, it worked out. But, as fate would have it, Holly knocked out Ronda. Now it's me versus Holly for the title. It's not hard at all for me to find motivation for this fight. I am motivated for the belt. I'm motivated for myself. My motivation comes from inside me. It doesn't come from hatred of another person. This is something she's been working at her whole life. She's a woman standing in front of my goals. That's it. Jimmy Gifford has helped my striking evolve tremendously. We've learned and grown so much together as coach and athlete. I was a fairly rudimentary striker when I first moved to Vegas, but I was a bit reckless with my striking. And now I still have that if I need to get gritty, but I refine my striking skills so much. Now I have all these different tools in my pocket, and my striking has probably been the most evolved thing that I've had since I moved to Las Vegas. Being on set of Fight Valley with Holly was great. The carpet had just kind of been ripped out from under my feet and here I am in the same room with the girl who's now taking my place, but she's mellow and calm and cool and collected and treats people nicely. A very easy and likable person. I don't hold anything against her, you know, and it was that kind of awkward tension for, for a minute or two and, and as soon as we were able to talk and we hugged and I, I just let her know right away, like, hey, I'm, I'm not mad at you. Like, this is an opportunity that was presented to you. Why wouldn't you take it? I mean, it's, it's her fight to take. It was her opportunity, and she took it, and she made the most of it. If I wasn't the one to beat Rhonda, I'm really happy that it was Holly. I think she's a wonderful champion, and I think she's a great role model. But it doesn't change the fact that I want what she has and it's not gonna stop me from going in there March 5th and giving her everything I have to take that from her. Yeah, I like her, I respect her as a person, but I'm pretty sure you won't think that March 5th. <laughs> mm -hmm. Holly Holm is one of the most elite strikers, so I'm sure she could make a lot of people uh, look like amateurs with her striking. Holly is one of the most accomplished female boxers in the history of the sport. She's a two-handed fighter, she kicks with both feet as far as MMA goes. She has tremendous takedown defense, and as you've seen against Ronda, she can knock out anybody at any time. I feel like nobody has pressured her with the right kind of pressure. We want an MMA match. And I think that I have figured that out. We don't want a boxing match. We don't want a kickboxing match. It needs to be an MMA match. I don't mind being inside the cage. Grinding on the fence, takedowns. She gets up, take it down again. I'm comfortable in there, that is where my home is. I believe the longer the fight goes, the better it is for us. This is meant to be. She's a natural born fighter, so fighting for me is pretty easy. If you were to design a fighter to beat someone like Holly Holm, it would be pretty close to what I am. I feel like Rhonda feeling like if she didn't finish that fight in under a minute that she had already lost the fight. Her biggest weakness is her boxing and that was definitely exposed and she just seemed to get more desperate as it went on. She didn't seem to possess patience in the fight. I think it was a really poorly executed game plan to just rush in after her and try to, try to grab her without really good setups or anything like that. I never thought that Edmund was a good coach. He always came off as a very slimy person to me. I don't think that he is a good example. Then I think Rhonda's mom is, is picking up on that and I completely agree with her and I, I understand where she's coming from. Extreme Couture is my, my gym. I love it. I'm so glad that I found a gym that I feel so at home at. The women's program has been growing, which has been a goal of mine since I've been here. We're definitely getting a lot more strong females in there and um, that's what we need because as much as I find it beneficial to train with men, they always push you beyond even what you're capable of sometimes and that's great. But at the end of the day, I do compete against women and I think it's beneficial to have other top female athletes to train with just to make sure I have everything exactly how it's supposed to be and I think our women's team is just as important as the men's team. Since I signed with Rev Labs and I launched my product Revburn, I have been undefeated. 
I've knocked off Liz Carmouche, Rid Nakai, Sarah McMahon, and Jessica I. We have created a product that helps me sustain my energy levels and get more out of my training, and that's what I want. I want to go in there feeling ready to tear it up, take out all my competition in the gym and just feel confident as I can be going into that fight, and this product has really helped me, and I think those four fights are just a testament of what has been able to help me with rep burn. My journey in this sport has spanned more than a decade. I've had my fair share of highs and lows. As I run these hills, I think about the past, the present, and the future. I think about how my opportunity to avenge the loss to Rhonda was taken from me, and how Holly Holm made the best of it. Holly proved to be one of the most elite strikers in the UFC when she knocked out Rhonda Rousey. She's the kind of person you want representing the UFC belt. But now, it's my time. People said that I would never get another title shot, that I couldn't win the belt, but I never stopped believing in myself. And so here I am, with my sights set on Holly Holm and that UFC Bantamweight belt, with the chance to defeat the undefeated fighter who dethroned my greatest nemesis.